Hey guys, just a quick tutorial on how to set up your ports for Echolink. It took me a while to figure out how to uh, do mine, uh, to change my ports. And I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that's um, scratching your head and uh, trying to figure it out too. So what you need to do is figure out uh, what brand and um, model number your uh, router is. And then uh, Google that online and figure out how to get into the administrative section of your router. Uh, it's the same way as how you get in there and change your your passwords um, to get onto your to your router. So what you do then get, get out of this is um, go into configuration and into services and you want to create a new service profile and um, and then you'll hit define custom service now this is for the Westel brand of, of, of routers and I'm not sure if the other model numbers are going to be the same but you're going to uh, go in and you're going to change your port forwarding uh, so my new service uh, this this you can change um, for me I put e echo link just to make it simple for myself and then in here you can put your global port range and also the base host port and also the protocol so I'll show you what my setup is on mine. So as you can see, service detail, this is called Echolink. So um, protocol is UDP. The global ports is 5198 to 5199, and the base port is 5198. Now that information is coming straight from the Echolink uh, informational um, website. And you go ahead and, and, and do that. and and enable it and then you can go ahead and check to see if it works and as you can see it passed and um, the way I figured it out is I just stumbled around um, the Echolink website is um, not very helpful well I mean they, they, it's helpful but it's uh, not easy if you're not um, if you don't know where you're around a, a wireless a wireless router so um, this is it and uh, 73 to all you new hams out there and also to all you old hams and aloha